Hello everybody, uh, Miss Heather here from the main branch. Um, I'm just going to talk you through how to use some of our advanced search functions uh, on OverDrive. So hopefully most of you are familiar with our search bar where you can go if you're looking for a specific title or author. Um, that's the, obviously the best way to find those resources. But if you are just browsing, you don't have something specific in mind, sometimes it can be a little frustrating to just scroll through the collections um, and try to find in between all the place a hold, place a hold, place a hold results, uh, something interesting that you can check out now. So we are going to go down to the bottom right of that search box and click on advanced and we're going to learn how to use some of the advanced features to narrow down our search results. So the first thing you can do if you if you want to find something that's available right now is we're just going to go down on the left hand side to availability. I don't think that it shows the Dropbox when I click on it. My screen's being kind of funky. But just trust when you click on all titles there under availability, it'll give you the option to change it to available now. So now it's just going to give us results that are available to us right now to check out. Um, if we want to narrow it down further, we've got a couple of options. We can go by subject. Um, if you click on subject again, it's not going to show you the whole search box, but we've got um, all kinds of nonfiction topics, different genres. If you want to choose something from there um, and you can use that to narrow it down further. So say I am just looking for fiction. It's going to look super goofy if you can't see my, my scroll box, but I'm just going to say fiction and it'll show me any fiction materials that are available right now. Um, I can narrow it down further if I would like by audience. So if you're looking for something for kids, uh, young adult titles, something in the adult section, you can choose one of these and narrow it down. Again, super weird if you can't see it, <laughs> but just trust that they're all there. Um, I'm going to pick young adults and now you'll see that audience is set to young adult. Um, I don't typically use uh, like the awards or languages, but if you would like to, you can definitely do that. Um, but one last thing that I really like to use to narrow it down is by format. So if you click on format, it'll give you different ebook formats, different audiobook formats, or the option to choose um, all the ebook formats or all the audiobook formats. I personally really like listening to audiobooks, so I'm going to set that to all audiobooks. Um, and when you get in and you're playing with it, you can look around and see what's available there. So I've got my search set to audiobooks, fiction, young adult stuff that is available right now. And then I'm going to scroll down. Um, and you can also see at the bottom here before you put in your search that it has different levels. That is uh, particularly useful if you've got kids in classes where they need to be reading something in a specific Lexile range or at a specific level of difficulty. You can use those to narrow that down and find some search results for them. So we're going to say search and we're going to take a look. Um, we've got lots of stuff available. We don't have lots of stuff available actually. Um, so I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know, this is really not what I was looking for. So if I'm not sure um, what it is in my filters that effect of this then I can go through and say let me see what it looks like if I get rid of the fiction and I can just click on that X and then it'll get rid of the fiction and then this looks a lot more like I wanted there's a lot more results there so if you set something and you decide that you don't want it just find that X right over there on the left hand side and you can just click that and get rid of it so I'm looking through here and I'm like you know I did want it narrowed down to fiction but I guess I need to specify young adult fiction then over in the subject you can say young adult fiction so then that's fixed. Instead of just regular fiction, it's specifically young adult fiction, and that'll give me the results I'm looking for. If there's another subject that you wanted, you can just click more under subject and scroll through, and there is quite a wide variety of subjects that you can use to narrow that down. Uh, you can also narrow by language. You can, like I said, by text difficulty, that kind of thing over here. So as you're scrolling through, if there's something that you want to change, something you want to add, you can just click on that. If there's something you want to eliminate, just remember hit that X at the top um, and you can cut any of those out. But um, 
that is how you can narrow your results, make them as narrow or as broad as you would like, and find the perfect thing to read while you're hanging out at home. Um, I hope that you found that helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments and we can get you an answer and help you out. If you have questions about doing it on the app, I was not able to record. Um, I didn't have a way to record my screen for my phone, but if you have questions about the app, just let us know and I can put together some screenshots and some instructions. Um, again, I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you are all doing well. 